Hello, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I have your highly requested Queen Diva DIY tutorial. So to get started, you guys, be sure to make sure that you're um, subscribed to the channel. And if you're not, go ahead and subscribe. Click the notification bell so that you're notified of all new videos. And please share this video, you guys. Thank you so much for the awesome response on the King version of this um, DIY. Now let's get started with the queen. So we're going to get started with this silhouette here. I found this on Google, you guys. You could just Google silhouettes. They have a ton of different ones. This is the one that I like to use because I love the way the profile is. So I do um, use a Cricut machine and um, I am not that um, well knowledgeable with this machine to quite yet do a tutorial to you guys on much advanced stuff there's a lot a lot of terminology and stuff like that that you would need to know to understand exactly what i'm talking about so i'm just going to share with you just really quick um how it looks on the um program in design space which is the program on cricut so i have my silhouette in there and i am going to make it at the image size of an 11 by 14. so now that I have its size, I am going to go ahead and press cut and print out this image uh, with the machine. Now, I know some of you guys have asked for me to do a tutorial. Well, I think about two of you guys or something like that. I'm not sure uh, asked me to do a tutorial of making this silhouette without the machine. Uh, I didn't really see a need to really do a tutorial because basically all you do is still find the Google image online and just print it out on your printer paper and you may have to print it out in sections for the size that you're trying to achieve um which is the 11 by 14 and then you would just trace it down on your poster board and just cut out your poster board and if you were using vinyl you could just trace it on the back paper of the vinyl and still you know achieve the same thing that i'm doing basically um, but this is the vinyl that I am using, you guys. This is not the premium vinyl. This is actually the, um, I think it's called Paper Studio from Hobby Lobby Vinyl. That is what I'm using here. I'm just sharing with you this on my mat, and it's the size of um, 11 by 14. It's about what size I'm going to cut it. And then I slide it into my Cricut machine and uh, press cut. So it's going to show you guys it cut in out the silhouette it takes a quick second it doesn't take a really long time because it's a silhouette and there's no entry cuts that it has to make so once i have that cut out we're going to get started with designing our queen wreath as you can see it is a simple basic silhouette cut no intricate cut cutting needed or anything like that. So I'm going to remove it from my mat and then we're going to get our poster board that you can pick up from the Dollar Tree or any craft store. And we're going to transfer our um, vinyl silhouette onto the poster board. A really quick tip, um, when you're deciding on how far to the edge to place your vinyl make sure that you leave a little bit more space away from the edge of the um, vinyl and the poster board edge than i have here and in a second you will see exactly why so once i have this poster board down the middle because there's no need in wasting um so i'm going to put the other half to the side and then i'm going to take a very sharp razor blade or you can use an exacto knife which i cannot locate mine right now and i'm going to cut out my silhouette i'm going to get as close to the edge of it as possible without cutting the vinyl um be very careful um make sure that this is for an adult and if you are underage that you are definitely using adult supervision so we're going to cut out her nose her eye and we'll pretty much just cut her all the way out but right there in that little nook before you get started you want to make sure to cut beyond 
the circumference of her head. You want to make it more elongated. And then you want to go right there in the nook of the nape. And you want to bring it around as much as you can to the other side. And I will tell you the reason why I do this. For one, it saves on vinyl. It's less vinyl you have to use to um, cover the area that's going to be covered up with um, ornaments or whatever design you decide to use anyway. So there's no point in wasting vinyl on that. And the poster board. I mean, it's just easier to just elongate the back of the head so you can have a bigger work um, working space. Now, previously in the King version of the DIY, I used a foam wreath form. However, I looked in several of the stores here locally and I could not find any more. Therefore, I have to use the wire one. So this will be my first time using a wire one for any one of my uh, um, silhouette wreaths which is fine because when there's a will, there's a way. So I have decided to um, match up the nape of the head along with the wreath form so that it looks like the wreath form is all a part of her actual head, if you know what I'm saying. So once I have it where I'm, I'm, a, I'm satisfied with it, then I'm going to just make some little markings where I'm going to then take some um uh what is that cable what is it called some type of ties zip um zip lock ties or zip ties zip ties that's it <laughs> i'm going to take some zip ties and i'm going to attach this foam board to the wire wreath doing that now this point here i am just making those holes that i had in a little bit bigger by sticking that pin through it it was very simple so i'm going to take the zip ties you definitely want to make sure that when you attach the zip ties and run it through, you want to make sure it's closing up in the back of the wreath and you want to make sure that it connects um, across the wires so that it is actually connected on there. And be sure not to pull it too tightly because it will mess up the poster board, but you want to make sure that it is snug. And when you are cutting your zip ties, make sure that you don't cut them too close to the um, edge where it connects because then it may slip out. But you also don't want to have it too long either because you don't want it to um, stick out too far. Now, I am going to use this beautiful, dazzling um, silver links from eFavorMart. I will leave my code down below so you can buy that if you are interested. And I'm going to use some ornaments. I'm going to use some gold ribbon. I'm using a variety of things, you guys. Just showing you several things. And then there's things that I'm probably going to use that you probably don't even see. So I'm just, just showing you. So basically, to get started, I usually take um, a medium size to large size ornament and put it somewhere in the center. And I kind of work around that just a little bit to get um, things started. And if you notice that the poster board... Um, doesn't connect all the way across the uh, reform. There's a little gap there, but that's fine because I'm going to fill in ornaments to the very edge and the ones on the wire wreath when I connect those two and place a second layer on top, it will look as if it went straight across when in fact it did not. Um, so it's kind of like an eye illusion thing, a little trick of the eye. So um, just play with your ornaments. Put some down to make sure that you like it where you're going to uh, possibly glue it before you actually glue it. Okay. And this tool here I'm sharing with you, um, I'm going to use this a little bit later in the video. But this tool is from Dollar Tree. You don't have to use this particular tool. You can use any tool. Or you, could, you don't have to. It's just another filler option because I have some smaller ornaments as well as this tool to fill in open spaces um, that you will see throughout your ornament uh, wreath as you continue to create your queen. Um, I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I'm 
All right, so I'm just going to take off a little piece and then I um, was wanting to use it like for her material on her hair, but it was way too light to see through. And so was this um, ribbon. For some reason, I was thinking that it wouldn't be so transparent. So therefore, I had to use material. Um, I didn't have any material purchased, so I just took one of my um, table sashes for my events and i just i'm just going to use that because it's, it's silver or gray or whatever and it kind of goes with the thing so i took a piece of material or a sash and cut it down and i am going to create a head wrap for her uh, typically i like to use ribbon instead because to me it seems a little bit more seamlessly uh, seamless uh, and more put together but it's okay we're going to make this work and as creators that's what we do we create as we go sometimes and you guys who have been with me for a while know that i am very well known for creating as i go so that is what i'm doing i'm going to take a pipe um cleaner that's the little white piece you see here and i am just going to tie this area together to bunch it up to give the illusion that her head wrap is tight at the crown of her head or the top of her head And I really, really wanted to use this ribbon, you guys. Even though it is sheer, I think I can still make it work. And so you're going to see me layer the um, gray material with the gold ribbon. I'm going to do it about three times. And I'm going to secure it in the back, if you notice. I'm trying to keep it as neat as possible in the back. Um, and I'm tucking it in underneath. And I'm using hot glue to secure. Now, you guys, um, if you really want to make it very um nice looking and neat i am pretty sure that you could place a round circle of poster board to cover up the back portion of this diy or maybe even a round um piece of felt material or something like that um personally since this is for me um i do i may consider selling it if anyone is interested um i don't know how to ship these yet i have not sold any that i needed to ship however i have sold a few locally and um, I'm getting a lot of requests for them um, almost every day so this is a very highly requested um, item um, so for anyone who is going to recreate um, I and if you do resell I don't know a lot of people craft just for themselves and people craft for resale I do both um, but anyway I'm getting off of subject now so once I have my ribbons on there, I am going to continue to place my ornaments. And you will see uh, when I start stacking them, it's basically to fill gaps and um, holes and stuff like that. So you just, like I say, you just got to place your ornaments and then you got to place and see if the color scheme is, you know, still okay and everything is looking nice and cohesive. Now I have these little tiny mini ornaments here. These are my filler ornaments. Um, I like to place them in spots that will help lift other ones up because I don't have um, a bigger size ornament than the ones you see me using. I also use in my other queen DIY, I used another, it was three sizes basically, but this is more of a tiny, small, and a medium in this particular DIY. And so I thought, so I thought that I needed um, something to break up some of the gold and silver and add some dimension and height. So I found these brown um, ornaments up in my attic from a previously Christmas um, color scheme that I was doing a couple of years ago. And it's great because it goes with it. And so I'm going to add them in to get some depth and um, just break up some of that gold and silver some so that's what we're doing here and continuing to fill up our gaps
Now, these tiny little ornaments are the ones that I have been using to fill up gaps in the wreath. Um, so, you can use those little small ones or you can use the tool that I was telling you guys about earlier in the DIY um, tutorial. So, I'm just cut off a little piece and I just pretty much just tuck it down in there. Now, you could add a little glue to it if you want to and tuck it down in there. However, I decided not to. Didn't really see a point because once it's in there, it's in there unless you pull it out. And so that's what I used that and those small balls to fill up the um, openings. Now this pick here is from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use a pick right there at the top of her um, headband. And I'm using this one with the gold poinzetta because I love it and I think it just ties in the Christmas thing. Now somehow you guys, I thought I was recording me making her jewelry, but the recorder was not on. But basically all I did was cut it to size and glued it down. And then I made a uh, little false earring by looping it and putting on one of those crystal little gems glued down to the top to have the mimic of the earring. Then I went and cut out her eyebrow because she needs an eyebrow. And now I'm gonna use this Mod Podge, you guys, to um, do her makeup. So I'm just using a very um, thin little line of Mod Podge. And then I'm going to go back in and fill it in a little bit thicker once I make my line with the Mod Podge to bring in her lips to give it like a three dimension look. Is that right, three dimension, 3D, 3D, yeah, same thing. Um, and then I decided to put a little bit of glitter on top of her um, eyelash, like where her, I guess, eyelid would be or so. I don't know. But anyway, I just like putting a little bit of glitter up there as well. So I decided to go with the red that was my daughter's choice. She said to use the red. I originally was going to use like a blue or something. But um, yeah, so now we did the purple eyes. Make sure you shake it. You can go back and seal it with a coat of Mod Podge on top if you choose to. And then I decided to do her a very nice, cute nose ring. So this is her, you guys. I hope that you love the way that she came out. Let me tell you right now, I absolutely do love her. But to be honest, I am a bigger fan of my first one, which was the... Um, the gold red and buffalo plaid theme and that's only because i'm so into this buffalo plaid right now but this girl right here is just as gorgeous she is ridiculously beautiful and not only that she is way larger than my original one so the wreath form for this was about 14 inches it is definitely larger than the um foam form wreath both well, foam wreath form that I originally used as well. So if you stay tuned and watch the rest of this video, you will see that near the end of the video, I have her actually on my door outside so that you can get an idea of what she actually looks like on an outside door. <clears throat> Although, um, I don't know how she would do in the environment if she's not under like a porch um covering or something like that um so yeah you can um put on a door outside but i i just don't know how she will hold up um however i do keep mine inside but i wanted to show you guys that she can go on your front door and she does look lovely when you see my door please just don't mind it because it needs repainting and cleaning Anyway, you guys, thank you so very much for putting up with me with all my talking. I hope that I was able to help you guys out with this Queen DIY tutorial. Get your juices flowing, your creativity juices flowing so that you can create your queen today. Thank you guys so, so very much for all of your love and your support. Please continue to support by clicking that subscribe button, sharing these videos, you guys, and coming on back for more wonderful DIYs. This is your girl, Hannah Watkins, signing off. Peace, love, and blessings. Bye-bye.